Hello YouTube, I just got back from Puerto Vallarta and wanted to share with you everything you should know before you go there. Now it's a beautiful city, great beaches. If you name it, you could probably do it there. Everything from drinking tequila, they have a zoo, uh, rose gardens, hang gliding, ATV riding, zip lining, uh, surfing, scuba diving, snorkeling. You could do it, great place for it. Great weather, very warm. Now, the first thing that's going to happen when you get there, you're probably going to land in the airport here. You could take a, a, a bus or taxi. The buses, you want to go out to the main street. And the buses are actually really easy to use if you want to save a couple of dollars in Puerto Vallarta. Uh, there's anywhere from 7 to 35 pesos, depending on how far you're going. There's these little blue buses here. They'll take you into downtown. They'll take you to Walmart, wherever you need to go. And usually on the window here, it'll tell you where it needs to go. However, I found that most of the bus drivers speak pretty good English. So if you just tell them where you're trying to go, they'll either point you to the right bus stop or tell you to come on board. Now, don't give them any big bills. Try to have some coins or some smaller bills in hand. If you can, they would appreciate it. If you're going to take a taxi or a van, you're looking at somewhere between 200 and 800 pesos to get from the airport to the center of town. Once you're in the center of town, the Malecon is their boardwalk. It's a great place to run in the morning. There's some little sandy beaches there. There's uh, night entertainment. There's night markets. There's food. There's a lot of great restaurants next to the Malecon as you go into the city. Uh, there's a little river area here. There's a little overpass, and you can go down in this green area. Great place to shop. By far the cheapest. A lot of negotiating can happen there. And it's a cute little area. One of my you know, favorite areas in the downtown there. As far as tours, uh, one of the most popular ones are the Marietta Islands, which are over here as you go out to the water. It's about a two-hour boat ride out there. Now, the thing about it is it is now being protected by the government, so you can't actually go on the island anymore. So these pictures here that they show you when you book your tour, you will not be able to go on this beach. You won't even see this beach unless you take a private charter. The main tours do not go there. They just go around one of the uh, bigger islands. They don't go in the island or all the way around it either. They just go to one side, drop you off for a little snorkeling, and then bring you back. In addition, when I was there just this last December, the water looked more like this. It was not that clear. When I was actually snorkeling, I would say the visibility is only about 10 to 15 feet. This tour should run you somewhere between $65 and $85 US, which includes breakfast and lunch. It's very light. Don't expect anything amazing. And there's some entertainment and an open bar on the way. Back. Another uh, great thing to do is zip lining. There's a lot of zip lining places there. The one that I did was the one with the Predator. And the Predator zip line is basically the same place that Arnold Schwarzenegger shot the original Predator movie. There's a couple restaurants here. There's this river you can uh, swim in. It's more like wading. It's not deep at all. It's not very big either. And as you can see in the top of this picture here, there's some zip lines and you can go up and down the zip lines. They'll also, they'll also try to sell you a lot of photos with the Predator. But it was a lot of fun and it wasn't that expensive. I do recommend doing it. It's about an hour to hour and a half each way getting there. And it's about $40 to $50 US uh, per person. Now, as far as the drinking water, I had some water in the shower. I brushed my teeth with their water. I did not get sick. I was reading somewhere that they did invest a lot of money cleaning their water. But if you want to be more safe than sorry, go ahead and just buy water at the store. It's extremely cheap. In addition to the water, think about ice. Ice is made with their water. However, just ask if it's purified or not. 99% of the time, they're going to say yes. So don't worry about eating the ice cubes when you're going out into restaurants. Now, paying a departure fee. Some I've heard people saying that they need to pay departure fees You know, when they're leaving the, the country to go wherever you're going, Europe or America, wherever you came from. Uh, it's usually built into the price of your ticket. Some airlines might not do that to try to save money. I flew Southwest, and it was included in the price of my ticket. Another place worth checking out is Salilita Beach. Let's go back to the map over here. Like I said, as you go south, this is where the uh, rose gardens are. I didn't go, but it's in this area here where I'm moving my mouse. There's some good snorkeling again here. This is a ch cheaper tour as well as it only takes 30 minutes to get here from the center of town uh, via boat. Um, and you can also go north. I've heard great things about this town here. And as well, Salilita is actually what we did. It takes a good hour and a half of on a bus and about 20 to 25 minutes of walking to get to the beach here and then to the bus and then to, to take the bus back to center of town. But it's a great little beach town. Don't go there to shop. You might find some things you can't find in the center of town, 
but they're going to cost you a lot more. The great thing about this is the beautiful beaches and gorgeous water. I rented a surfboard for $5 US for an hour. I've never surfed before. It was one of the most fun I've had in a really long time. Great, great, great little journey. Great if you want a massage on the beach, you want to rest out, you want to just swim, you want a wakeboard, what, whatever it is, this is a great spot for it. Really beautiful surfer town. Totally recommend you check this out. The hotel I stayed in was a Hotel Rio Malicone, and it was a great location, not a good hotel. The thing is, I went in peak season, so all the all-inclusive resorts were like double the price. So I skimped out. I just picked a cheap hotel with a good location, and it was very bare bones. Do not recommend it. I did like the location, though. Being downtown, you had a lot of re uh, restaurant choices. You had great shopping. And if you're just bored in your hotel, you can just walk out the door and walk up and down the Mali Cone and just enjoy the nightlife and what, what's going on there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you could, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comment below.